Let's look for a moment at the Model and Layout tabs that are located here at the bottom of my drawing window. There are two places that we work in AutoCAD. We work in Model Space and we work in Paper Space. Model Space represents the area that I'm going to do most of my drawing. This is the place where I draw my object at full size. Later, when I want to put the object onto papers for printing, then I will use paper space to actually scale my drawing down to fit on the piece of paper that I'm going to use for printing. Here I'm looking at an object that's been drawn in model space. It's been drawn to its actual size and dimensions have been added. Now I'm ready to put this object onto paper, so I would go down to my layout tabs. I can see that I have two layouts. If I hesitate, it shows me a thumbnail of what's contained in each of the layouts. I'm going to click on layout one. Now in most cases, if you start a drawing from scratch, it contains no title blocks and the layout will just be represented by a piece of paper and on that piece of paper will be a viewport. The viewport is like a window that looks through the piece of paper into model space and displays your drawing. When I'm in paper space, and notice down here on the status bar it says that I'm in paper space, I can work with my viewport I can resize it, I can add additional viewports for additional views of my object, and I can also draw on my piece of paper things like a title block or add text, and these things will only exist in paper space and they will be printed onto my piece of paper. So for example, if I look at my second layout, you'll notice that this layout I can still see my piece of paper but I also see a title block that's been drawn in paper space. This does not show up when I change back to model space I don't see any of my title block because it's been drawn on my piece of paper in paper space. Here I could be editing any of this information. Now I still have a viewport. If I double click inside my viewport you notice that the viewport becomes active. This dark line represents the fact that my viewport now is active and it's I'm reaching through my piece of paper into model space. Down here you notice that this is changed to model. What that means is that my viewport has become active I'm reaching through like a hole in my piece of paper into model space. Now I can manipulate my object. I can change its scale. In this case I've changed its scale to 1 equals 1 which means its actual size relative to this piece of paper and you can see that it's too large for my viewport window. So I would scale it to a smaller scale. I will scale it again at a scale of one to two or one half size. And that better fits into my viewport window on my piece of paper. I can use a pan command to center my viewport object in the viewport. And double click outside in paper space to deactivate my viewport window. Now I'm back into paper space. With these things done, I'm ready to print and what I'm seeing on my piece of paper is it should be exactly what I get coming out of the printer. My title block and my object scaled to uh, a size one half its actual size. 